hi guys it's your girl kaino and welcome back to my channel if you are new here thank you for clicking on this video please do consider subscribing and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much welcome back you are doing the most and keep doing the most so in today's video we are going to be making traditional liqua well known as ombike or okanyome in oshindonga yeah so i'm just gonna put the videos together they're not going to be made one on one on the same day but i'll put them together and make it one video like from the beginning what you're going to use and all those fun stuff you know so if you do like this video please do give it a thumbs up comment down below what you liked about this video and also tell me do you do you know how to make the liqua or maybe your grandparents used to do it let's chat down below guys mm -hmm. so today we are doing um atu tenden dunga ne ne atu the kutha like separating the i'll show you guys the, the whole process yeah we have already made some a, 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 a few of them so we're just finalizing today and then i think tomorrow we are going to put yes i'll show you guys so let's go i hope you enjoy it so guys we are busy tendering at the tender okay stop any question i think it's too loud so i'm seated here this is my place so you can see like the endunga name so we are using endunga to do to make this liqua endunga no i'll show you guys the later so we are pounding these ones to make them like this like to separate the the fruit from the from that i don't know how to call it no so it, as you can see what she's doing she's separating the fruit from the seed is it the seed oh, i don't know yeah i think it's the seed yeah so you should be careful otherwise you will hurt yourself <laughs> you know so yeah let's do this how are you fina hi <laughs> hi shaka <laughs> so this is meme she's busy with uh she's just busy separating like the sticks you know these tiny things this uh, the lighting is now a bit too okay this um she's not focusing okay not focusing she's just separating the sticks from the from the entatahe and she's also just taking out the the bad ones so yo say hi mommy hi <laughs> look at the video say hi hi <laughs> look at this one they're laughing okay so i'm going to continue guys look at this we used to call this like they are our kids when we used to grow up when we we're growing up I mean, when you used to grow up <laughs> when we we're going when we we're growing up like we used to play like yeah, these were our kids <coughs> number eight we used to play with that Okay. 
Endungas. This is a fruit, guys. I did I even I think I already told you guys. And it's edible. They're also edible. Palm fruit. It's very nice. I remember when we were young, ne? Hmm. this thing, you eat it halfway, and then you throw it away. They are a lot more. They are a lot. So you eat it halfway, you throw it away. And then there will be a time when there is nothing, like nothing, nothing. You are going to collect these half ones, and you eat them, and it tastes so nice. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's very nice. Guys, <laughs> 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 So right now we are done for today. We are going to continue tomorrow. I don't know. on So this is what we are going to use. And then you mix and then you mix and then yeah. I'll show you guys everything. Everything. Thoroughly. I'll take you guys through. Thoroughly. You know? Yeah, so for today is peace out. Mm -hmm. So today we only managed to do this. You know what I'm doing in the middle. You can use this. Yes. The process is long, but it's worth it, you know. So, yeah. You can see this one is a ship. The ship is removing the death and some of the ships. For it to be clean, as you can see, there is like sand and all these sticks, so she's just separating. Hey, you are done, See, not done that <laughs> <laughs> I'm not done now. You this is our firewood, so we use this as firewood. It's very nice. I think I showed you guys in my previous, in one of my videos. Yeah, I mean, this is good firewood. Yeah, I mean, this is good firewood. Yeah, I mean, this is good firewood. Yeah, this is good firewood. Okay, it's okay. I'm going to say. So, um, today is the next day, and we are just pounding this in Tatahe, right? Um, they were put in water yesterday just to make it soft. So, we are going to pound it, and then he's busy pounding, it will become like this. So, he's pounding from this, this to this, yes. <coughs> And then we're going to put it in water to ferment it with the palm fruit and dunga. So it's going to stay for seven to eight days in water for it to ferment and make it soft. So if I'm going to know running half mr and a full one. Yeah, and then a full mr of on tata heza tsuwa koshinis
One MR, one container. Wow. It's a container. Too. I'm so crusty. I'm so crusty and all that. But anyways, I know you miss my face. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying this video so far. I hope it's not boring. For seven days and then we're going to make the, the omake yeah. so it's a whole kangoma from me and Tina see you after how many days seven days bye okay guys so today is the seventh day we are going to open the thing and Brew our ombike. So yeah. <laughs> so this is how it looks like after seven days. On the seventh day, ooh, it's smelling like ombike already. <laughs> you can just eat this thing. It's so hard. So guys, this is the pot we use. This is the pot we use to brew our ombike. I feel like it's so dry. I'm just going to add a little bit of water. And then this is where we are going to put our liquor. Yes! Guys, I'm busy vlogging and I just have to like put this video together. Because so I just have to, you know, finish the the process. Atu atu ningiske, atu yere. If you can hear a, a sound in the background, it's the the machine that is thrashing the mahangu. Yeah. Anyways, we are busy with the umbike. There. So he just went to go get the other things that we need. Why am I even putting on this head? Anyways. Yeah. I'm getting some rest though while I'm here. The girls are still busy. So right now we are going to what? We are going to seal the pot with um with sand. I think it's clay sand. Clay soil. Just for it not to leak. For the liquor not to you know for it to be nice strong you know what i mean yeah so i need to start this fire so i should not put so i need to start the fire and then the little up and end on So this one, it's, it acts like a cooler, and this one, Okanjebo, is where the liquor passes through from the pot to the bottle, you know, so yeah, 
and we put water here so you need to be refilling the water for this thing not to burst this thing not to burst because if it bursts for this not to burst so you need to be replacing the water when it becomes too hot too warm too hot and then you replace it But we first need to clean here, just to make sure that there is nothing and it's clean, because we want the liquor to be clean, you know. So then you connect it to the pot. And then you put a Maya. So he balanced the the kanjebo for it to fit the thing. The the hold. So he's just busy sealing the the kanjebo part for them be not to pass through the you know so this is what i was talking about so he's just busy cleaning it and then you insert it inside there like that yeah so now when the liquid is going to drip it's going to drip passing on the okare <laughs> into the bottle yeah so far so good the process is going well so as you can see the green bottle there's the there's where the liquor is going you can see it's draining you can see it's dropping see so that's how that is the liquor now that we want and the water the water is not yet that warm yeah not yet that warm so we put this uh corrugated iron papereki just for this thing not to burn from the fire because it's plastic yeah yeah well. so far so good so now the bigger is done this is how how much it has drained so we are going to remove this one and put um another container uh, to it, uh, those ones are named Umachacha is not strong compared to this one, you know. So this is what we have drained so far. So now we are gonna put this one. This one is empty, and then we see how much it it will drain. So yeah, and you don't need to have a lot of fire, firewood. It must just be like that because it might it will bend then the thing will not be nice the look will not be nice yeah. so this one is done draining as you can see that the thing is now dry and it drained <coughs> let me just remove it it's no more draining so this is my cha cha this one is also liquid but it's it's not strong compared to the other one so this one we we this one is for us the other one is for you know real business you know this one is for us the girls <laughs> yeah so yep and the process is done so um so this this is how the pot looks like after it's 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 basically just the same it's hot. It may not burn. When you are putting in, you make sure that ipambu, it must not be the same level with the kanjebo. It must be below the 
oh my nails guys <laughs> it must be below the <laughs> below the kanjebo because now if you put it like above the kanjebo in mabinote imu these things will go in the the liquid and it won't be nice so you make sure you, you put lower then there and this girl is busy drinking people's liquor you will get drunk I. <laughs> she's drinking here hey you want to get drunk so this is the second pot this is the second pot oh i'm gonna take baby so this one is full let me show you guys how it's yaring look look how it's yaring so this is how high is here you see just like water <coughs> oh, sorry yeah. mm, it's still strong so you put another one can you see the smoke i don't think you guys can see it. but it's still draining oh, and it's so fast this one is so fast so in this pot we made one container one full container yeah we'll see how so far if it was still dry. so before the water becomes hot you need to be staring like this you need to bring the the cold water the cold water is under and then the the warm water is on top so you need to be stirring like this for the cold water to come on top for this thing not to bust the ka what the ka kanjebo topinena so guys as you can see the water is it's like smoke is coming out steam it's not smoke it's steam steam is coming out that means it's hot so we need to put other water you know when the when the steam the is thing passing will, through that shandiki this thing it will must bust. be condensed so it bends into liquid that's a condense yeah that thing is called the condenser oh apparently this is a condenser it's from the physical science teacher physics, physical science on high level you know oh you come on high level 100 yeah so we need to change this water we need to remove this water i'm putting the cold water Fina can i'm going to keep going my hand to oh man so now i'm putting cold water Varam. So as you can see, the water is no more steaming. So yeah, you just continue checking if it's becoming warm. So this is how you taste if it's still strong. If it's no more strong, then you you remove the big container and put the one for the matcha. This one is matcha. It's no more strong. So he's just gonna taste. So he's just gonna taste and see if it's too strong. Hi. Don't go. Hi. Ah, mana. Mana, that's how. Yeah. Onga no matcha. So this one is too strong. We are just gonna let it drop, and then we'll taste it. So I wanna do a taste test of the liquor. Don't look at me, guys. I look so crusty. So as I already showed you, this is the amount that we have drained, that we have produced, you know, and the machacha also. But this one is the original one. So I'm just going to taste. Ooh, let me not pour out. Okay, you don't drink this thing. Much of it, you will get drunk. Fast, fast. Uh, I took a thought. Uh, you guys, it's so strong, but it's nice. It turned out so perfect. So yeah, guys, I'm going to end the video here. I hope you did enjoy it, and I hope you learned one or two things on how to brew ombike traditional liquor yeah so thank you so much guys for watching this video 
please do give it a thumbs up if you did like it comment down below what you liked about this video and i'll see you guys in my next video Ciao.